all right i was uh was fixing to brag on the shower house and uh turn the camera around and do the selfie and cut myself off but yeah hot showers in the woods are nice that things uh come in real handy you know being able to uh to do your business without having to dig a cat hole and squat you know i'm not getting any more graphic than that but uh, them being able to shower up hot, cool out here in the evening. So shortly before nightfall, I get me a shower in. Well, yesterday, shoot, I hit the showers at two o'clock, two thirty. But it's just nice, you know. Have I mean, everybody loves a hot shower, and to be able to take one out here, it changes the game. It's awesome. That's all I'm. Gonna, that's all I'm gonna brag on it though. So take a walk. I will show you the house. Let me get my camera and my coffee cup situated in my two hands. Oh, there's my fire pit. I didn't even bother with one last night, but uh, this being the last night, I didn't put that machete to work on all this for nothing. We'll burn it up. Have me a nice fire right after dark. Alright, so there's the house. Got it really roofed in well and sat it up just enough. Just enough to keep the breeze out and keep peeping eyes away. It's still got a nice view even when I'm hanging out inside. Whoop, whoop, oh, there I am. Hi, me. Whoops. <laughs> uh, my front door. I know y'all have seen this view, but like I said, it's a pretty much a done deal now. Got the stereo. Weather cleared up and I repositioned my antenna. Been able to get a couple more channels. Nah, I ain't done a whole lot of hiking and mountain climbing and no crazy stuff man I've just uh kind of been hanging out around the house kind of like taking a weekend around the house except I've built my house out here I took a couple little walks and uh you know hung out by the river this that and the other went and discovered that bridge I'm just kind of just kind of chilling No chair out there. Somebody left. I guess I'm gonna take it, throw it in the dumpster. But yeah. That's the inside of the house. See I've been getting it in. Kitchen area's worked out pretty well. Especially with the dish stand. I got some ideas on the forefoot for the vanity. That was just a nice coincidence. I brought the ladder for setting up the shelter. But that works really well. And they match. They're both blue. Definitely put the pocket rocket to use. Cooking's been a little difficult. Had a little, uh... A little difficulty with the cooking. First, uh, dealing with wet wood, all this rain that's been out here. Trying to get that going. All I had is a pocket rocket. Uh, just need to upgrade. That's dependency. Uh, Co-captain, Chef Master John, he's got a nice two burner. I've been planning on using it, so I didn't invest in one. Probably going to now, though. <laughs> I ain't complaining, I've made it happen. It's one thing, anytime you come out, you learn something. And I learned, you know, no overconfidence on my part and no uh, overdependence on anyone else's part. Like I said, coming out here, it breaks things down and you really start to get it. 
It's you and you and the world. You know, night, nighttime, all the quietness, the darkness. You got one little light shining in the dark. That kind of breaks things down right there. I mean, out here, like cooking, you want to eat good. You have to prep. You have to plan. You got to come out here and you got to do it. You got to make it happen. It's no instant. No gimmies. Uh, just like the roof. If, uh, if my skills had failed, my prep had failed, Sunday night I'd have been soaked. I'd probably be dry by now. I might be back home by now. <laughs> Depending on the severity of it. But I've made it Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. Uh, this would be my last night, Wednesday. Solo, Creekwater Cody, down by the tie.